Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be reviewing the last box of the Karen Markers which is the Brushmark Pro Mega Box. 72 colours and a 3 blender set. So I think what we'll do is we'll just open it and have a look inside. So you can see here, hello camera, <laughs> comes with a Brushmark Pro set, how to use them, so I'm going to get this out and I'll be back. I took the film off so you didn't get the shine, so here is the box, Brushmark Pro plus neon colours, carrying, and then this is what's on the side which is our logo, so I think what we'll do is we'll open it up. Wow, look at all those. Now, I'm quite surprised because usually it says to lay your Karen markers flat, like horizontal, but these are like face up. So I'll just get a close up of them. Here's what they're like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch them all inside of my sketchbook and I'm going to do it like sped up but I'll do the first one normal so I'm going to give it a shake and let's see do they work oh wow they do <laughs> right so I'm going to go through and swatch all of these. Alright, so I just had to have a look because the the pigment deco brush is completely different to the Brush Marker Pro. Because I've just read this um, leaflet here and it says how to star Brush Marker Pro. Brush, marker, brush Markers Pro should be starred capped with the tip facing up. Do not keep Brush Marker Pro exposed to intense sunlight. And that explains everything. <laughs> so the Deco Brush you lie horizontal because it's got liquid in it. And the Brush Marker Pro is like a marker, I presume. <laughs> Which is why you can keep it face up. So I just thought I'd add that in there. Hey guys and welcome back to another video, it's voiceover M here, so we're going to be talking a little bit about the Brush Marker Pro set that Karen Markers have kindly gifted to me to make a review on. So I've just gone onto their website and I'm going to read what it says about these markers. So Brush Marker Pro are water-based, non-toxic markers with a brush-like tip so it's possible to work with them like watercolour technique. They are available in 72 different colours but have even a small colour palette at disposal. You can obtain a lot more of them thanks to blending. The colours can be mixed, lightened and obtained through tonal transitions by contracting the nib of the markers. They are produced in the liquid ink technology thanks to which they do not change the intensity of colour to the last drop and allow to control the amount of paint on an ongoing basis. Brush Marker Pro contains 2.4 milliliters of intense dye based paint each. They are twice as efficient as traditional filter markers. In addition, they are equipped with a Japanese super durable and flexible nylon tip. See how to videos on the YouTube channel to learn more. So you can actually get these markers from different websites like Amazon and, and other places. Now if I go onto the Karen Marker website, it says they are selling this set of 72 colours plus 3 blenders for $140. Now that equates to, I'm not quite sure, let me just Google. Alright, I've just converted it in Google and it says it's £107. I'm not sure what shipping is, but that is a lot cheaper than the, than what they're selling it on Amazon for, which is £117. 
And just like that, we have finished swatching all the colours, so I want to get a close-up for you. Really like the colour names, I think they're pretty good. Especially the, the browns. And the neon colours went a little bit weird on the paper, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, little specks on on the paper. I'm not sure if that's because of the sketchbook I'm using, but we can have a test on like different paper. Right, so now we have them swatched. I want you to comment below which one is your favourite colour. I've got a ceramic thingy my bobby jiggy and some watercolour paper and I'm gonna try and make a piece with these markers using them as like sort of watercolours. Alright, so I decided to try out the watercolour style of these markers because after reading it on their website I was intrigued because instead of going into depth about them being markers, you know, like maybe Copics and things, they instantly put in that it's you can use them as watercolours. So I used a ceramic plate and drew it on using the markers and took the and took my Pro Art Prolon brush with water and used it like watercolours. The paper I used was the aqua pad paper that we received in the February scrawler box which I do believe is 300 GSM. I'm just going to grab it really quickly using one hand <laughs> and I'm going to see if it actually is. Let's have a look here. Yes, 300 GSM gold line aqua pad. Alright, so I um, I applied a thin layer, but I noticed that by adding water to the marker, it evaporated it into nearly nothing. I don't know if you could see it in the video on the ceramic plate. It wouldn't really matter how much marker I put down, because as soon as I added water, it was gone, which is a shame. It went down pretty nice on watercolour paper to start with, but as soon as I added layers, it became a little strange. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it was spreading out too much and like affecting the paper in a really weird way. It's like, um, I'm not sure which ones they are, like uh, alcohol base markers. When you put those down and it, and it spreads out on paper. Let me know in the comments below if you know what I'm on about. <laughs> Um, and I didn't show it in the video, but it went on to the other side of the paper. Now, this could have been because I used too much water or, it, or I didn't wait for it to dry in between layers. I kind of don't have a technique when it comes to watercolours. I just wing it. <laughs> I did, in the end, eventually use the markers straight on the paper, which helped darken it up a little. It's not my best piece of artwork, mainly just a tester to see the mark how the markers worked as watercolours. In the future, I think I'll just use them as markers on normal paper, or maybe Bristol Ward paper, because that's quite smooth. I think they'd work well on there. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this week's video. If you did enjoy it and would like to see more, please leave a like, comment below what you think of these markers, share with your friends, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time with another video. Okay, bye.